I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. <laughs> and welcome <laughs> back to another color, color class. class. And in today's class, we are going to determine with three shades if you are a winter or are you any other season. <laughs> yeah. We're going to determine your season. And have you ever known people who just couldn't make up their mind? Now, personally, I'm going off topic here right at the top, but People, if, is she rolling her eyes at me? Because I'm looking at you, I, and I know she's rolling her eyes at me. But if you've ever known people who just couldn't decide, now clearly as a color analyst, that can't be your your method of operation. You've got to be able to know, you know, fairly quickly what some someone is, and then incorporate that into your draping. I mean, you're going to be draping and you're going to be going through let, letting them see what they are. Mm -hmm. But how do you, you know, how do you know what you are real quick? Or how do you know what your client is real quick? And we've got some questions and some some color swatches here to show you that will help you work your way through it. Mm -hmm. So let's grab the winter swatches because let's do we'll we're be starting using, off right we'll we're be using those with, with everything all right so our first winter swatch is obviously going to be a crystal clear white because pure white winters enjoy that because let's just blue white and i want to make uh i want to emphasize gonna... that the the winter white almost takes on a blue cast when it's up against anything else look at this on me how do i look uh, not so good sweetie i i you know as a mother you want to tell your <laughs> child that they look beautiful at all times so this exercise is not the greatest i totally understand when we talk pure white can we just show for oh, one okay. second um how vivid the white needs to be i'm sorry i'm holding a blue behind it but just so you can't see it, so a pure crisp blue white and i know that we all in our wardrobes have um have that white boyfriend shirt that you know mm -hmm. is a go-to look for us a button up or your white tee yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 so if you look great in your pure white uh then you're probably a winner and yeah. it obviously the colors that go along with that do you look better in magenta or navy oh let me grab our magenta and navy Beautiful. those mm -hmm. would be things that those would be your go-to colors mm -hmm. as opposed to i think well, we said i i just want to clarify one thing the navy mm -hmm. we're talking a deep rich navy we're not talking a like light clear navy. yeah sometimes there's there's a um it, there's a tendency to call a lot of dark blues navy whether they are on they're more toward right. prussian blue yeah, or I, i'm guilty of it all the time but a, a true navy has a hint of purple in it mm -hmm. and it and it's a hint of purple you can see navy is either going to go green or it's going to go purple mm -hmm. and that because that's where it lives on the color wheel and so it, true navy the winter navy has a little more purple in it why because it that means it has a little less yellow in it mm -hmm. um, and it's it, it's on the cooler side right. so if you look good in these colors you you just might be a winter <laughs> you now, just might be if you're trying to decide between winter and autumn let's say Ooh. that you have dark hair you're not really sure whether you're a winter or an autumn and that's kind of going back to the cool and warm uh, it is the cool and warm mm -hmm. because you, 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 between winter and autumn, you're deep. You know you're deep. That's mm -hmm. something that you have no doubt about. Then you've got to decide whether you're on the cool side or on, mm -hmm. you're on the warm side in order to be, determine whether you're winter or autumn. Mm -hmm. Now, the autumn shades that are typical, you know, that look really good on autumns and pretty much every autumn, mm -hmm. um, there would be some brown. All right, let me grab our brown. Now, on a winter, brown is like ho-hum. It's mm -hmm. like yawn, not so great. You, you just, it's just not the contrast that you're looking for. Yeah, just, and it's boring. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not it what you need. It doesn't make you just go, wow. And then another shade that somebody like Sarah could wear, who is an autumn, is pumpkin and muted gold. Oh, look at this beauty right here. 
What do you think about this color? <laughs> I, well, I think for you, it's beautiful. But on a winter, not so much. Mm -mm. This one's going to make you go a little yellow, a little sallow in the skin. Your yeah. hair is going to go a little like, well, it, yellowish. It, the, it, or gray. Mm -hmm. You're wearing these golden gonna, colors right. will mm -hmm. drag down. Mm -hmm. You'll see um, greater under eye circles. Mm -hmm. You'll see greater wrinkles. You'll kind of look like you have like a cold. Like if you were a little sick. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's not going to be as punchy, as contrasty when you think about like a winter. There, you know, that hair, the the dark, just luminous hair, or the pure white. You just kind of look a little grayish, mm, like yeah. a little off. Right. Not Beetlejuice gray. <laughs> no. But just you're, a little off. You're still beautiful. And, uh, oh, it's, and you, you can ask your friends if you've mm -hmm. got sweat. Let's say you've got clothing in either of these palettes that mm -hmm. we mentioned, preferably both. Uh, but if you've got only one and that's the palette you tend to wear, you're probably a winner. Yes. Uh, and, but if you've got a mix and you just haven't been able to to just wrestle it down, mm -hmm. ask your friends, do I look better in this gold sweater or do I look better in this pure white sweater? And, and mm -hmm. they'll help you and decide. My favorite thing is I really shouldn't toggle back and forth the winter colors because, oh, I do not look great on camera, especially. <laughs> mm -hmm. But toggling back and forth between your good color versus your bad color is the best way to do it. So just have your friends stand behind you, hold the drapes for a little support. And well, if whoop. if you have drapes, if you don't mm -hmm. have drapes, a T-shirt or a shirt, just you can upside down T-shirt. Yeah, it, you can just lay it across your chest, and we, it, Sarah and I, it, it, she's my daughter. Mm -hmm. For those those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, yeah, welcome. Um, and it, we used to have a thing where we would go shopping, and then we would try on our clothes as we were driving home that day. So I'd be like whipping out a shirt and go, "Do you really like this on me? What do you think?" To select, we, we, we couldn't have done that in the store, you know. We it, well, just... we we did a little bit, but then of course you have to try them on on the way home, and I, I would be like holding it up them up to myself and say, "Do you love this?" But you, that that's where you're like oh should i have bought that starts kicking in oh and then yeah you're like oh. always always and so you know you need that second opinion in the car on the way home mm -hmm. um couldn't, couldn't just wait which is why she will tell you that i never put my new packages that i'm excited about in the trunk no way they sit in my lap so i, I can try things on you know what's so funny i think you started out this video with talking about being decisive Oh, I, I'm decisive. I bought it and I won't re be returning it. What I want is compliments. I want to be validated and, and by my child. And so that's why I do it. Anyway, a little off topic there, but that will get you between a winter and an autumn. So if yes. you're deep and, and you've got any concerns or if you're in the middle, sometimes mm -hmm. some of us are neutral between warm and cool and you've got to figure out one or the other. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to do that. Right. Now, our next category involves me. Oh, so we're going I, to I, do, next. I do love this. Um, right. Let's say that you can't really determine if you're light or deep. Maybe you're in the middle. Right. Because summers and winters, they're both cool. Yes. So you've got the cool side. You know that you don't have any gold, in, red or gold in your hair. Your skin tone isn't really golden. So you, you got it. You know, you know that, that you're cool. Mm -hmm. But are you a summer or are you a winter? Now, once again, not to repeat myself, those colors of white, magenta, navy, they're a good indicator. If they're, you know, if your closet is filled with those, you're probably a winter. Remember, we gravitate towards the colors that look good on us. So. Yeah, and particularly because people may say to you, oh, you look you look good today. Mm -hmm. And you have on magenta and you're like, it, it, will, it will ring into your brain. Your brain, our brains are so smart. And, and, and they'll, they'll, they'll keep that piece of information forever. And you'll continue to buy that that color mm -hmm. so if you look good in those colors you're probably a winner right but if you find yourself gravitating to a powder pink or a powder blue or a gray so part particularly gray i, I want to go a little bit deeper into these colors now 
powder pink for instance we're not yes. talking icy pink right because that would lean us in the winter palette again those icier colors so mm -hmm. think a crisp white with just a little drop of pink in one there. tiny little right. or it, the tiniest of red because pink is yes yes red and white right or when we say powder blue same thing the tiniest little drop sticks with the winter but on the summer side do you see how these are a bit more they're soft mm -hmm. but they have a bit more color they're kind they're, of like and I'm, I'm going to say this, and I may regret saying this, but mm -hmm. it's almost uh -oh. like a baby nursery. The colors that you see in stores pretty much consistently for mm -hmm. baby attire, yeah. baby stuff, mm -hmm. um, traditional, mm -hmm. that's in the summer palette. Right. It's like a mid-tone between, let's hear I think I have a, a good enough example right here. So we have our white, which is going to be our winter. We have our powder pink, which is going to be our summer. And then we have our magenta, which is going to be our winter. So we have a summer sandwich right here. <laughs> so when we say the powder pink, the powder pink falls in between these shades. And do you know why? Why? Because winters are contrasty. Yes. That's what makes Very you a contrast. winter. You have lots of contrast between your skin and your hair. You, you, you're bolder. You've mm -hmm. got a lot of contrast. Now, I'm a summer, and I have less contrast. So when Sarah holds up the two extremes in terms of the pink and the white, right. and, and she says, you know, here you have a summer sandwich, the, that pink falls in between the two extremes and is soft. Mm -hmm. And that is indicative of a summer. You right. are soft, less contrast between your hair, mm -hmm. your eyes, your skin. Look at me. Um, technically, I probably shouldn't be wearing these frames, but I think they make me look smart. <laughs> so I, I do. Um, it, Remember, it, wear what you love. It, and I love them. Um, but they're not really in my palette. I should be wearing a gray frame if I, if I was going to go that way. Mm -hmm. But... I'm soft, so my selections, the things that I'm going to gravitate to or look best in, are going to be soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, I made another summer sandwich for you, <laughs> just feeding you all kind of goodies today. We have our white, which is actually looking icy blue because we're holding it up against a blue. So remember, our winters can wear crisp white. They can also wear icy blue. And that's the palest, palest. Right, right. Almost like, think about men's shirts mm -hmm. when they're more traditional and it they go just a little right. bit toward pink, a little bit toward blue. Now, men are wearing like, oh, everything these days, yeah. but I'm talking about, you know, like your old Brooks Brothers, mm -hmm. you know, the whole, your whole wardrobe, mm -hmm. if you were a man and you were a winter, was like the palest of pink and the right. palest of mm -hmm. blue. Or like think wedding dress. You know, it just has the slightest little hints of colors. Mm -hmm. But our summer sandwich has the powder blue in the middle, and then back to our bold winter color up here. So I hope contrast. you enjoyed your, Think contrast. your summer sandwiches. <laughs> Absolutely. And in the event that you are trying to decide between winter and spring. Spring, yes. Because both of those seasons are bold. Mm -hmm. And you know you've got some, you know you've got, bold and you know you're contrasty but are you warm or are you cool and if you can wear ivory instead of that absolute that blue white then maybe you should think about spring mm -hmm. and if you look really good in camel eh, you could be a spring or oh. golden browns because golden browns, if you're a winter, are not for you. Yeah, like we said, it's not bad. It's just, it's kind of a little boring. They're not, uh, n no. I, I would go so far as to say golden browns on a, a winter, especially a clear winter, no. 
Everyone no, is no. beautiful. No, no, no. You'd still be beautiful. You'd still be you. But it wouldn't be flattering. I'm sorry. It just wouldn't. You know, coming from the ones who hardly ever wear colors in their palette. <laughs> That's not true. I do. Um, but the point... When we're out in public. <laughs> but the point is... Um, well, you know, sometimes I don't care that I'm, you know, I, I'm not dressing to impress. Oh, and you know what is super challenging to find workout clothes Wait a minute. in the Stop. autumn palette? Stop. We shouldn't say that we hardly ever dress in our palettes. Okay. I, I think you should cut that whole thing out. Okay. Okay. And now I don't know where we were. So gold, not so much. Golden brown, not so much. If you're a winter, mm -hmm. but if you're a spring and you're thinking, oh, look, yeah. I do look good in these, or I do have these in my wardrobe, then you're golden, you know, you're a spring. Mm -hmm. So those are nine shades that you can use against the winter shades mm -hmm. to determine what your true season is. Now, don't get us wrong. We are going to dive deep into color analysis. We're going to be covering the four C's. I mean, we've been doing a lot of dabbling up until now. Uh, we've been dabbling in the four seasons mm -hmm. because that's the most prominent, it's mm -hmm. most well-known. But there are six palette systems. There are 12 palette systems. There are 16 palette systems that really sort of fine tune um, that are, those four. There's a um, three palette system you're is, forgetting about. There is. There's a three palette system. I always leave that one out. And there's a tonal system. Mm -hmm. So we're planning to teach you all of those systems. But it helps to know the four seasons. Mm -hmm. It's funny because they all lead back to the four seasons. Maybe not the three palette. But in a way. Yeah. It, in, in a way. Mm -hmm. it, but the, anything past four all pretty much comes back yeah. to the four seasons. Now, if there is a downfall to the four seasons palette, it's that they don't deal or it does not deal well with neutral skin tones. It does not deal well with really deep skin tones. Mm -hmm. And so some of these extended palettes may be, may speak to you. Mm -hmm. You may say, look, I've been neutral. I'm right in the middle. In fact, I, we had a comment from a subscriber who said, I'm, I'm neutral. I'm right in the middle. And you may be. Mm -hmm. And the thing about the four season system is it makes you feel like you're not quite there. You can wear certain colors. And in fact, this particular subscriber said, I love the um, universal colors video because those are my colors. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, because if she is neutral, she's going to be kind of gravitating around mm -hmm. that. Be sure to look at the Universal um, Colors video so you know whereof I speak. Um, but she's going to be leaning toward that. So that's why down the road, um, once we get this kind of solid and etched in your mind, we're going to dig deeper. And of course, as we do that, you're going to need to subscribe so mm -hmm. that you get um, you get all of the notification. Don't they need to click a bell or something you to can get a absolutely, notification? Yes, if you want to get notified, ring that bell. So we would love to bring you along this color journey with us. And lastly, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And this has been another color class. And we will see you in our next video.